Hello, and welcome to another Marty's Matchbox Makeovers Out of the Box Special. Why is this one special, I hear you say? Well, for the first time ever, I'm testing out a 360 degree camera. So hopefully, when you're viewing this on your computer at home, you should, in theory, be able to click with your left mouse button onto the image, hold it and drag the image around so you can Whilst I'm talking to you and you get bored and you, you want to look at something else, you can just spin the camera around and see where I am and what other things are in the background. Uh, today I'm going to unbox a brand new Matchbox Jeep that I bought from my local supermarket yesterday for $3. And I'm going to compare the new model with the old one. So before I get round to showing the new one, I'm going to go and get the old one out of the display cabinet. So if you'd like to follow me through here and feel free to have a look around and uh, explore. For example, here is number one display cabinet. I've got two of these, the other one's over there. And uh, as you can see, these are most of the models that I've restored. There's a lot that I've posted out to people and given away um, if I've done doubles. But, uh, and also there's no Super Kings on, on display here, or King size. Uh, this is the second cupboard over here. And this is the one where the Jeep is. It's, uh, it's down here, look. So I'm going to grab that out now. So bear with me. Um, I've got these little um, plastic cases from a Japanese shop uh, called Daiso. D-A-I-S-O. And they're really good. Excuse me, I've just had a cup of coffee. Um, yeah, and they keep the dust off all the models and prevent, for, well, just keep them in order and, and they look good as a display. The only problem is they're a little bit difficult to handle. <laughs> they're all slippery and they're in two pieces and sometimes they separate when you handle them. And I have dropped countless models. Here, spin around and come over here. I've dropped countless models before now and had to sort of repair them, fix them, whatever. So you take the lid off, here we go. So in this one we've got a few different ones. What is that? Is that a Cadillac? I'm not sure. The Bedford uh, newspaper evening news van. The uh, Mustang with the steering wheels and the Bedford Tipper here. So this is the one we're going to compare because that's the Jeep obviously. And we're going to go down into the hobby room now and I'll show you the new one and we'll just have a brief chat. Um, this video really is not all about the model. It's actually about showcasing the new technology and messing around with it and seeing whether or not you like the format and uh, would you like to see more of these 3D or surround vision videos. So walking down here again, we shall go into the hobby room. Uh, what did I do with my glasses? Here they are. I'll put those on because I might need those in a minute. And I'll take the rest of my coffee with me. And, oh, this is a bit of a juggling. Ooh. Oh, oh, I don't want to spill my coffee because... Um, because I knew I was doing this video and you'll be able to see everywhere. I did a really good clean up this morning. I even washed the floor. It's to make you feel welcome. Uh, down into the hobby room. Here we go, I've already got the lights on. And I've got a bit of a secret to tell. This is the second time I'm filming this. <laughs> Why, I hear you ask. Well, it's because first time I had the wrong setting and it was just a plain video. Anyway, here's my phone that I use normally for making videos. And this is my, just out of interest, this is the rig that I use, more than anything. It's got a really heavy magnet on the bottom there to hold it down, to give it stability. And I've modified the top here by cutting this aperture out. See? So that, when the camera's in there, you, you can see it films through there. And I can move this around in all sorts of angles. That's a really handy thing to have. Anyway, I'm not using that today, I'm using the new camera. Oh, and because this is a Jeep video, I thought I might wear my Jeep hat. I don't actually like it, I think it makes my ears look big, but for this video I'll wear it. So because this is the second time I've done this video, 
I'll move this over here. Um, well, you'll notice the box is already opened. <laughs> so this did come in a plastic bag. And uh, to start with, I just thought I'd look at the artwork on the box. You can see it's a, a Jeep driving through the jungle. Now, I didn't notice this the first time. That, no, uh, there's a little secret about this that I shall reveal in a minute. You can see here it says it's metal, which is always good. And it's imported by Mattel Canada, it says, in Ontario. It says Matchbox MBX Jungle. That's what it says, MBX Jungle, right? One vehicle, Jeep Wrangler Roll Bar number 18. Now, I looked on this box and I could not find where it was made. There's, there's nowhere on the box does it say it's manufactured in blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of foreign language on it. And it says on here that it's imported into the EU by Mattel Europa and their headquarters is Amsterdam in the Netherlands. So, so we've had Canada and the Netherlands now. So I opened it up and had a look at the model and it came in a clear plastic bag by the way, I've chucked that away. And here it is. And now for the first time I realize it's a Jurassic Park themed model. It's got the Jurassic Park logo on the door. And that's probably why it's called the JP18. It's model 18 and it's Jurassic Park version. So uh, it says nothing about Jurassic Park on the box. It just says jungle. So it's strange that they can use, you know, a video and not have it on the box as part of the advertising. You think it would make it sell more perhaps. Anyway, looking at this model, let's look at the original one first, okay? It's basically all metal except for the seats and the steering wheel. The base is metal and the top is metal. This windscreen, by the way, if you haven't seen the video of the restoration of this one, go ahead and have a look. I had to 3D print this windscreen because the original one was snapped off. So that's a little bit of a design fault with this model. A lot of these I've seen with the windscreen missing. Uh, it's got basic details. It's got a four spoke steering wheel, some instruments on the dashboard there, and uh, a glove box. And on the front, it's got the classic Jeep grille and headlights, and some vents along the window, edge of the window there, like maybe to let heat out of the engine bay. Who knows? So that's the original. And this is the new one, and the base on this one is plastic. The only metal bit is this body, uh, silver sort of grey section. Um, I don't like this one as much as this one. I don't know why, probably because I'm a Matchbox enthusiast of, of yesteryear. But this one seems very plasticky, and I do not like the steering wheel at all. As you can see, it's just one big blob of plastic. And the dashboard is just a load of squares stamped into the the dash. Um, whether that's realistic or not, I don't know. What I do like though is there's extra little details on the bonnet there they've put in, like a couple of uh, water jets there to clean the window. Once again, it's got the classic Jeep front grille, and this one's got a winch on it as well, like in the Jurassic Park movie. So there you go, that shows you what you can get for $3. Now, interestingly, it's at this stage now when you look at the bottom, it says trademark 2017 and Jeep Wrangler. And there it says made in Thailand. So you've got Thailand, Canada, and the Netherlands importing it into the EU. And I mean, they do all that for $3. It costs like, six dollars to send a letter to bloody england these days so it's an amazing thing so there you go brand new in the box unfortunately i've now it's now worth two dollars because i've opened the box and taken it out of its original plastic packaging so if you want this <laughs> leave me a comment i'll pick someone and i'll post it out to you and you can say when you view this video online you can say look that car is this exact one here in my hand and you can feel part of the show. So let me know in the comments. Uh, also, I want to know 
Do you like this format of video? Do you like having the ability to look around? So let's have a look. If I move this over here, for example, I'm hoping that you can zoom in and look around this part of the hobby room here. For example, my silver play button, uh, some number plates, uh, a couple of choice newspaper clippings that I kept, like this one here is one of my favorites, horse born with a human face. The cult even smiles when he's given an apple, it says. So I hope you're there at home now, clicking with your mouse and moving around and observing everything that I can see, you should be able to see. Oh, there's a quote on there from Kevin, <laughs> quotes suck. Oh dear, never ceases to amaze me that, that damn bear. Now I'll come over here. Again, it's not all about the little model car, this one. It's, it's just testing out the camera and making something different, a different experience for you. And this could lead to bigger and better things. Like for example, I'm thinking of doing a complete makeover and, and lo uploading it in, in our blocks over a week or so. And it will be 100% live using the 3D, uh, sorry, the 360 degree camera. And um, I have, I've got a virtual reality headset, by the way. And I'm rather hoping, this is my vision, that one day soon, if you've got a, a VR adapter for your phone or a virtual reality headset at home, you might, this is my plan, be able to tune into the video, put your headset on and just be sitting next to me whilst I'm working away. Wouldn't that be cool? However, here's a notice board with bits and pieces. This area here is where I do all my planning for um, the next makeovers. These here are models in progress that are waiting on spare parts or stickers or the paint supply to resume at the at the hobby shop so I can kick on with those. Uh, a few different interesting things here. So hopefully you've enjoyed the look around and uh, you can even see outside here. This is the view from my hobby room window. There's a nine meter deep cutting over there that uh, trains run up and down. Now you probably haven't heard them but I guess there may have been two trains during this video but because it's so deep and the sides of the batter are angled the sound generally goes straight up in the air and you don't hear it unless the driver decides to blow his horn and then that really annoys the hell out of me and I think why do they have to do that? They do it at all random hours of the day and I think it's just a train driver who has a mate that lives around here and he likes to toot his horn when he goes past so his mate knows he's driving. Anyway, that, oh, I better go and wash my cup and put my model away, my model Jeep. Uh, before Julie gets home, she's, uh, she's actually out at her mother's sheep farm at the moment. She took my grandson Connor out there. Uh, for something to do today because they're on school holidays and it's given me the opportunity to uh, just stay home and play around with this new toy of mine. I'll we'll just have another swig of this. I've been talking so much it's gone cold. That's nice. So, maybe if you leave a comment, one, you might be the recipient of that model Lashbox car, and two, you might be able to uh, share some more time with me in this virtual world. Um, so yes, please leave a comment, let me know whether or not you like this style of video, and if you do, I will probably do more. So, oh, excuse me, until next time, this is Marty. Marty's Matchbox Makeup is saying thanks for watching and goodbye.